Just now we've seen some interesting work, for instance, from the University of Strasbourg. These are not traditional homeopathic medicines. This is TNF, tumor necrosis factor, alpha tumor necrosis factor, highly diluted, uh, has effects on release of interleukin-6. It's very technical, but this is relevant to things like rheumatoid arthritis. So very highly diluted um, immune mediators have effects on cytokines. This is just one example. Uh, there's another area where there's correlation going on, gelsemium. Uh, a number of people have done work on, on gelsemium, both uh, in animal experiments. It seems to have quite significant animal uh, effects in animal experiments, standard experiments that are done, um, for instance, for tranquilizers. It seems to have similar effects to buspirone standard tranquilizer in high dilution. And we have a group from the University of Verona who are correlating that now with a high-tech method with looking at um, gene expression and have shown changes in gene expression. So this is now correlating animal findings with, with basic science findings. One of the exciting stories is the, the, the Benveniste, uh, the Benveniste affair, which was a long time ago, 1988. Jacques Benveniste was a leading French immunologist. He published a paper in, in, in Nature, the leading scientific journal, which turned out to be irreproducible uh, and led to a lot of flack and, and falling out. But actually that little story, many people don't realize, has a happy ending because two of his collaborators, particularly a guy called Jean Saint-Claudie, who works in, in Paris, continued, actually sometimes in very difficult circumstances, there was, a very, there was a miasm, a very negative atmosphere around at the time. They continued to work in the area, so they're using the human basophil degranulation test. This is a model, uh, uh, an in vitro model, a test tube model of the allergic response uh, and using very high dilutions, 16C, which is way into the ultramolecular range of histamine. And this, uh, and using higher, higher tech methods actually than Benveniste used, they now have an automated method. Benveniste, you know, counted them through a microscope, which is time consuming and subject to fatigue and so on. Now they have an automated method. They run it through a cell counter, which can do count thousands of, of, of cells in a few moments. So this is now a long series of experiments, 17 or 18 experiments, n including multi-center, independent, etc., etc., virtually all of which are positive. There's one or two negative repetitions, but I think they can be accounted for by minor tweaks in the methodology. The Benveniste affair, although most people don't realize it, had a happy ending. The method is reproducible, something very similar to the Benveniste method is reproducible and has been reproduced.